I'm not going to show the setup procedure for the boxes on a CF-50. All the points are numbered and there is a setup book on the electro box to go by. There's eight points located throughout the machine. We start at one, which is the width of the box, unerected. All we're gonna do is take a box, put it in, and then we're gonna move it in or out depending on the size of the box. This is changed here with this ratchet handle the direction that we're going. We want the box to travel freely as it goes into the machine. So we want to have about an eighth of an inch or so extra. It's important when we load the boxes in the machine that we want the glue tab to be facing out and the major panel to be on this side of the machine. Two is the hopper height. The hopper height is determined by half of the width of the box. Half of the width of this box. It's about six and a quarter, we measure this flap. So we're going to set our height to six and a quarter. Now that we have a our hopper height and width set. We go ahead and load some boxes in. Step three is the fingers. We go around the other side and start with the bottom finger. bottom finger is here and it gets adjusted this way and the finger should be put in the uh, finger slot. There's two fingers, bottom finger and a top finger. Top finger moves side to side this way by loosening this handle and then up and down with this one. We'd want to see the top finger in about a quarter of an inch or so under the top slot. Line it up here. Now, due to the nature of the boxes, we have a 44 pound uh, ECT on this box. It doesn't give us any advantage to use the top finger because of the stiff nature of the box. So we can go ahead and not use it on these boxes. I'm just going to lift it up out of the way. Step number four is here, the vacuum tree. Our goal is to get the four suction cups positioned in the four outer corners of the major panel. To do this, we can start by selecting the size that we want, pulling the pins. The, the cups up and down to get the position that we want also. And to center it on the box, we want the cups to be the outside corners. There's a handle on this side. We can loosen this handle and slide it into position. Step number five is the trolley stop, which again is half the width of the box. So we're going to go ahead and set that to six and a quarter. Indicator is here, and here's the scale. Step number six is the pusher. 
pusher gets set to the full length of the box. This box is 15 and a half. So we're going to set the pusher to 15 and a half. After we set it, two lock handles, one on this side and one on the other. Step number seven is the drive. We set the width of the drive again to half the width of the box. Scale is here, indicator here. We're going to go again to six and a quarter. Number eight is the sled height. We want to set the sled height, the full height of the box with the flaps up, which is 15 and a half. The indicator is up here, and the scale is here. I want the box to travel freely inside the sled, under the sled, inside the drive. We close the doors. The doors are equipped with the safety gate. If the doors are open, the machine won't start. We can go ahead and start the machine. The machine has two uh, two cycles, auto, automatic and manual. The manual allows us to step the machine through each phase to make sure we have it set up properly. We can go ahead and run it automatic and start production.